Good evening. Here's the world news from BGI TV, Baba Pantege Imo TV. I am your street free, Mobile Rebila Lawa. First are the major headlines for the world news. Presidency. There is a pickup from President Mohammed Buhari as he speaks. I am as preferred choice, gives reasons. Kaduna Imam dies at 130, survived by 26 children, 290 grandchildren. Policemen, wives protest eviction from Lagos barracks, demand relocation. Containing the eco new building collapse, Lagos to demolish remaining skyscrapers, persecute culpable officials. Five hospitalized as fire got law school in Lagos. Niger government ready to welcome core members willing to stay back, SSD Matinee. One killed as kidnappers of Dr. Abuja Monarch's son. Man allegedly lost four-year-old girl into his room and made love. And to foreign story, France, European allies to withdraw troops from Mali after a decade. Finally, sports story. Ogwa could dump Man United for Man City. The news in detail. And that was why presidential aspirant Ahmed Buhari has endorsed former city president Ayim Pius Ayim for the presidency in 2023. Buhari said Aim is a perfect person to lead Nigeria in 2023, considering his record in the Red Chamber. He noted that Aim was able to stabilize the National Assembly when he was a Senate president. Buhari spoke on a Rise TV's morning show while advocating for a Nigerian president of Southeastern region. He noted that the Southeast remains the only region in the country that has yet to produce a president since 1999. But among all of them, that have indicated interest in the presidency from the southeast, if given the opportunity to choose, Ayim stands out, he said. Most political stakeholders have been agitating for the southeast to produce the country's next president. Moving forward from the presidency to Kaduna State, the chief imam of Kafenchen, Central Monk, Sheikh Ta'ir Adam Ta'ir, has died at the age of 130 years. Platform Times gathered that Sheikh Adam died on Wednesday evening after an illness. The late age Imam was survived by 26 children, 290 grandchildren, and over 200 great grandchildren. Confirming the death of the chief, his deputy, Al Ad Mohammed Kassan, said the late Imam would be greatly missed by Muslim faithful as he was a role model to all. In a condolence message, the Emir of Jema, Al Ad Mohammed Isa Mohammed II, described the death of the Imam as a huge loss to the Emirates and to the people of southern part of Kaduna State. Muhammadu prayed God for the repose of the diseased soul. Back to Lagos State for another interesting story. Policemen living in the veterinary clinic block of the police mounted troops barracks, Mobalaji Bank and Tony Way, Ikeja, Lagos State, are protested against the eviction notice served on them by the police authority. While saying that the notice was short, they demanded relocation alternatives. Punch Metro gathered that buildings in the main barracks could not accommodate all the policemen and their families. And some of them were moved to the veterinary clinic block primarily built for the treatment of animals. Some of the affected police families told correspondent that a notice was given to them to leave the animal clinic buildings within two days, after which force would be used to evict them. Their departure, they said, was to pave way for a private construction company to demolish the buildings and develop the area for a business venture. A video clip of the protest by some of the policemen and their wives, seen by correspondents, showed the women singing solidarity songs while their children cried as the protesters blocked the road leading to the barracks. The leader of the affected women, who identified herself simply as Mrs. Dumban, told Pont Metro that on February 8, 2022, they suddenly saw bulldozers attempting to pull down some of the structures. She said, this whole thing started February 8, 2022, when we suddenly saw some men from the construction company with bulldozers and men with shovels and other equipment who told us that they wanted to demolish the building. The OC of the barracks and his second in command promised to find alternative buildings to house the people affected by the order. We are begging them to have mercy on us. She also told correspondent that due to her stance on the issue, her husband was sanctioned by the police authorities. They said if she'll move his family out of the barracks or else, we will regret being there, she added. Back to the Ikoyi Collapse building in Lagos last year, 
The Lagos State Government has accepted 26 recommendations of the 20 INDA-led panel that investigated the collapse of a 21-story building in the Koyi area of the state. The government, Babajide Somoru, led administration also rejected two of the 28 recommendations of the panel. In a white paper, it's supposed to be seen by the punch on Wednesday. The state government agreed with the recommendation of the panel that the existing two 15-story buildings still standing at the site of the collapse on Gerard Road in Ikoyi should be demolished and the land forfeited to the state's government. The state government also accepted the recommendation of the panel that the developer of the collapsed property, Four Square Heights Limited, be prosecuted because of the loss of lives and the rubble. The Punch had earlier reported that the 21-story building, which was located on General Road in the Kuyi, collapsed on November 1, 2021. Still standing beside the collapsed high rise are two uncompleted 15-story buildings. The collapsed 21 floor skyscraper, owned by Four Square Heights Limited, trapped over 50 persons including the firm's managing director of Femi Oshibano, his friend, a United States of American-based Nigerian businessman, Wale Bob Oseni, his personal assistant on Ye Inekwe and plans. About 44 persons were said to have died as a result of the incident. Nine survivors were rescued from the rubble of the collapsed building, while some artisans working in the building before its collapse are still missing. Still in Lagos State, at least five persons on Thursday were hospitalized following a fire outbreak at the Lagos campus of the Nigerian Law School, located at Odumba on Badiway Street, Victoria Island. According to the eyewitnesses, the incident led to commotion among occupants who ran in different directions for their dear lives. An eyewitness simply identified as Chevron explained that the fire, which started at 10 p.m., was caused by an electrical fault from the fourth floor of the five-story building hostel accommodating about 1,005 lost graduates on the Lagos campus. The fire came with a big bang. There was a stampede in the hostel. I saw a student jump out from the fourth floor where the fire started near the reading room. Other students ran out of their rooms in panic. However, the fire was put out by hostel security officials who switched off the main power supply immediately before the arrival of the state fire service some minutes later. The unidentified injured students are currently receiving medical attention at the clinic. The director of Lagos State Fire Service and Rescue, Margaret Adishayen, through Public Affairs Officer Amadou Shwaibu, confirming the incident, said it was a minor one and no casualty recorded. According to Adishayen, preliminary investigations by the fire service indicated power surge as the cause of the fire outbreak. She had it that a detailed investigation would be carried out to determine the immediate and remote cause of the incident with a view of preventing future occurrences. Back to Niger States. The Niger State government says it is ready to welcome core members who are willing to stay back in the state after the service here to contribute to its development. The state governor, Abdul Abubakar Saini Bello, made the disclosure at the passing out ceremony of the 2021 Batch A Stream 1 core members at the 123 Portis Parade Crown, Mina. Represented by Secretary to the State Government, SSG, Ahmed Ibrahim Matene Bello said the state is aware of a high level of discipline, dedication, and patriotism exhibited by the core members throughout their service here in the state. Bello enjoined them to allow the lessons of selflessness and humility learned during their service here to guide them in the obvious realities of life after service. Matine, who is also chairman of NYS State's Government Board, speaking through the Permanent Secretary General Services, Musa Robo Ibrahim, said the NYC Government Board would ensure the improvement of the general welfare of core members in the state to make their stay a memorable one. Earlier in our welcome address, the NYC State Coordinator, Mrs. Fumelayo Ajayi, acknowledged the collective and individual contributions of core members through their host communities, particularly in the areas of health, education, agriculture, and rural infrastructure. So another troubling story, Jonaido Danjuma, the son of the traditional ruler of Bombo community, Gwada Chibdam in Kuje area council of Abuja, His Royal Highness, Danjuma Maji Jung Gaba has been abducted by kidnappers. Uh, reporters learned that a man conveying the kidnapped monarch's son on a motorcycle, Kabiru Sani, was shot dead while attempting to escape. 
Delhi Trust had reported that 11 villagers, including the wife of the PDP vice chairman, Mrs. Asabe Mohammed Korea, were abducted in the same area earlier this month. A resident of Gombo, simply identified as Sally Ho, said the incident happened around 5.23 p.m. when the kidnappers, more than sophisticated weapons, barricaded the over Weda Gombe Road. He said the traditional ruling song was returning from a neighboring village, Robochi, on a motorcycle when the kidnappers suddenly appeared on the road. The Agabe uh, of the Bogada Ubaba, His Royal Highness Al Adi Hussein Agabe Imam, confirmed the abduction of the son of Gombo village chief in a telephone conversation with reporter. The spokesperson of the FCT Police Command, DSP Adi Josephine, did not pick up calls or reply to text messages sent to her about the latest abduction. From that story, we'll go to another disheartening word. A Kaduna High Court on Thursday ordered that a 34 year old laborer, Umar Adamun, who allegedly loved to a uh, girl, be remanded in correctional center. The police charged Adamun, who resides in Pala village of Anchao, local government area of Kaduna State, with the, with the scene. Justice A. A. Bello, who declined to admit the defendant to bail, ordered that he should be remanded in Kaduna Correctional Center. She had drawn the case until March 10 for hearing. Earlier, the defense counsel, Radio Adamu, made a bail application in favor of his client, urging the court to grant him bail in the most liberal terms. The prosecution counsel, Florence Asen, told the court that the defendant made the acts on January 24th. Asen said that the defendant lured the, the, the girl into his room when her mother went to the market and did the act. She said the offense contravened the provisions of Section 257 and is punishable under Section 258 of the Panel Code of Kaduna State 2020 as amended. From that story, we quickly move to a foreign story. France and its allies in a European force announced Thursday they would begin withdrawing troops from Mali after nearly 10 years fighting a jihadist insurgency. A statement signed by France and its African and European allies said that multiple obstructions by the ruling junta meant that the conditions were no longer in place to operate in Mali. The decision applies to both France's backhand force in the Sahel and the Takuba European force that Paris had been trying to forge along with its allies. The political, operational and legal conditions are no longer meant to effectively continue their current military engagement in the fight against terrorism in Mali, the statement said. The allies therefore decided to commence the coordinator the coordinated withdrawal of their respective military resources dedicated to these operations from Malian territory. The announcement was made as President Emmanuel Macron is to travel to Brussels on Thursday for a two-day EU-Africa summit following an O800 GMT press conference at the LCs on the engagement of France in the Sahel. The Mali deployment has been fraught with problems for France of the 53 soldiers killed serving in its Bakken mission in West Africa. 48 of them died in Mali. France initially deployed troops against the artists in Mali in 2013, but this urgency was never fully quelled, and now new fears have emerged of a jihadist push to the Gulf of Guinea. Finally, sports story. Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba could join another Premier League side. The UK Telegraph reported that Manchester City are realis realistically one of the few clubs that can afford Pogba's 200,000 euros a week plus wages. The 28-year-old is out of contract in June and looks likely to leave Old Trafford for a second time. The last high-profile player to leave United for City was Carlos Tevez. Tevez famously appeared on the Sky Blue Welcome to Manchester billboard in the summer of 2009. However, Pogba is expected to wait until the end of the season to decide where he will be playing next season. United remain keen to tie him down to a new deal. Pogba rejoined the I beg your pardon. Boba returned to join the Red Devils for a British record 89 million euros in August 2016 and has won just two major club honours since the Europa League and the EFL Club Cup. That was the world news from BGI TV, but before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. 2023 presidency, Buhari picks Aim as preferred choice, gives reasons. Kaduna Imam dies at 130, survived by 26 children. Two 90 grandchildren. Policemen, wives protest eviction from Lagos barracks, demand relocation. We also brought to you concerning Ikoyi building collapse, Lagos to demolish remaining skyscrapers, persecute culpable officials. 
Another one brought to you, Five Hospitalized as Fire Golf Law School in Lagos. Niger government ready to welcome Coleman best William to stay back, SSG Martini. One killed as kidnappers abduct Abuja Monarch's son. We also brought to you, man allegedly lost a girl into his room, make love to her. And foreign story, France, European allies to withdraw troops from Mali after a decade. And finally, sports. EPL, Pogba could dump Manchester United for Man City. For more updates on our YouTube channel, the handle is Mabagba Gede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for you to get updated on our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alamye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page to get updated. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, the phone number streaming on your screen in the direct line to dial. Thank you for watching. I am Moride Babila Good evening.